Hello class of the ML4501, Mechanical Design 2. This is our project 1 and it's on SpaceX. Uh, our group members consist of Daniela Bernal, Camilo Torres, and myself, Mateo Restrepo. Here is an outline of what we're going to be covering today. Uh, it has to do with uh, SpaceX executives, SpaceX uh, timeline, the Falcon 9, the Merlin engines, the Dragon and the Crew Dragon, Super Draco engine, and the future projects that SpaceX has for us. So first we we'll begin uh, talking about Elon Musk. He is the founder of SpaceX and he founded it in 2002. He is also the founder of Tesla Motors, which he founded in 2003, also with uh, PayPal. Um, he is currently the CEO of SpaceX. He has a physics and uh, economics uh, bachelor's degree and he proposed the Hyperloop competition, which is funded by SpaceX. Next we have uh, Tom Mueller. He is a rocket engineer. He um, he is a rocket engine designer. He um, did the uh, Dragon spacecraft propulsion system and designed the Merlin rocket engines. He is currently the vice president of propulsion development at SpaceX and is responsible for all propulsion uh, development currently at SpaceX. And then we have uh, Gwen Shotwell. She is the current president and chief operating officer at SpaceX. She has a bachelor's and a master's in mechanical engineering with an applied uh, mathematics degree. And she participates in a lot of um, STEM-related programs uh, in order to raise funds for scholarships. So here's a timeline for SpaceX. So the most important and, uh, starting date was in 2002, where uh, Elon Musk founded uh, to, uh, SpaceX. Uh, after that, uh, the one of the most uh, noticeable events that occurred was that on the fourth launch for the Falcon 1, it was a successful launch, and this occurred in 2008. After that, shortly after that, um, NASA awarded spa uh, SpaceX 1.6 billion dollars, and this greatly helped the company in order to continue with the future's projects. Then later on in uh, 2013, SpaceX made this first successful commercial satellite launch, and uh, lastly, and uh, SpaceX wins a 2.6 billion dollars. Uh, contract uh, to transport astronauts to the International Space Center, and that's occurred in 2014. Uh, next, uh, Daniela and I will be talking to you about Falcon 1 and some other topics. The Falcon 1 launch vehicle was the first vehicle that SpaceX began to develop for space exploration. The Falcon 1 went through five different launch attempts. The first attempt was postponed due to a faulty valve causing a structural damage, which ended in the launch vehicle failure. The second, during the second attempt, the fairing actually hit the engine nozzle during its separation, and roll in the vehicle couldn't be controlled, which caused a failure to the attempt. During the third attempt, the first stage performed successfully, but there was remaining fuel in the first stage after separation, which causes thr transient thrust in the Merlin engine. This caused the first stage to bump into the second stage, um, derailing the orbit of the payload that was to be delivered. Thankfully, the fourth and fifth attempts were successful, both delivering the payload into the given orbit. This made SpaceX the first U.S. private company to orbit the Earth. The next launch vehicle SpaceX focused their efforts on was the Falcon 9, which has gone through three different design variations. Version 1.0 is an expendable launch vehicle, meaning no parts of the launch vehicle are reused. This launch vehicle has a 3x3 three three square engine pattern. Version 1.1 has 60% more thrust than the previous version, while being 60% heavier. The engines in this version are configured in an octoweb as seen in the bottom right corner. In addition, this vehicle has landing legs added for usability purposes. The last version of this vehicle currently is the version 1.1 full thrust, which uses cryogenics to pull the propellant, which causes the propellant to have a higher density and provide more thrust to the launch vehicle. In addition, this launch vehicle has a longer second stage to allow for more fuel. Um, the Falcon 9 first and second stage are manufactured very similarly to each other. The RP-1 and LOX tanks are made from an aluminum lithium alloy capped with an aluminum dome. dome. Um, SpaceX uses all friction stir welding, which is known for its high strength and reliability. The launch vehicle is also designed for an engine out capability, which means that it can still deliver a payload successfully to orbit even with an engine failure. The inner stage is made from a carbon fiber aluminum core composite structure. And the landing legs are manufactured with a carbon fiber and aluminum honeycomb. 
The Falcon 9 goal has always been reusability, and therefore SpaceX has made five um, landing, la ocean landing attempts before the landing attempts to make sure it could land a vehicle softly in the water. After this, SpaceX attempted um, various landing attempts as seen in this slide. Uh, the first attempt had a successful boost back and reentry burn, but the booster landed too hard on the drone ship. The second attempt had a stable descent, but the final landing on the drone ship couldn't be achieved to couldn't be achieved due to a faulty control system valve. During the third attempt, SpaceX finally landed the booster on Landing Complex 1 in Cape Canaveral. The fourth landing attempt, um, the stage landed successfully on the drone ship in the Pacific Ocean, but one of the landing legs did not lock, which caused the vehicle to tip over and explode. Next, I want to talk a little bit about the Merlin engine family. So here we have the, dra the Dragon, which is the, the first one in the Dragon family. Um, this spacecraft, um, was in the year 2012, it became the first private spacecraft to dock in the International Space Center uh, station. Um, it, was launched, it was launched into space using the Falcon 9 rocket. Uh, at the current stage, it is capable of carrying 7,300 pounds of cargo. And during the current missions, it's carrying about 880 pounds of food, supplies, and equipment to the ISS. Now we have the second version of the Dragon, which is called the, <clears throat> the Crew Dragon. Uh, this was the original purpose of the Dragon spacecraft, which is to carry humans into the International Space Center. Uh, it is also launched into space by the Falcon 9 rocket. And at the, the moment, we're conducting tests, uh, which are include the paddleboard test, the hover test and the parachute test to improve the functionality of this spacecraft. Here we have the a detail of the, the Dragon, the crew Dragon. Yeah, this is a fully autonomous uh, spacecraft. So we, it can also be controlled inside of by the astronauts or in a SpaceX mission control. It features uh, environmental control on the export system, which is uh, a program that they can use control the temperature between 65 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Here we have the Super Drag Room rocket engine. Uh, it is actually a 3D printed engine, which uh, the chamber was developed fully by SpaceX. <clears throat> In the year 2013, they fired uh, the Super Draco engine at full thrust. Um, the engine is made of um, hypergolic propellant liquid and is designed by SpaceX fully. Uh, this engine is also going to test, it's going to the part of bone testing, abort testing to, to see how it would react when, when it's trying to land. And currently we're using Italy's engines on the Dragon. Here we have a conceptual design, which is the big Falcon rocket. We have the two uh, 16 models, the, the Falcon 9 and the uh, a bigger version of the Falcon 9. And then here we have the conceptual one. Uh, this is not uh, actually in market or in, it's been developed at the moment. Um, but, uh, but we do know for a fact is that it will feature a Raptor engine. And now we have another concept which is called the Mars Colonial Transporter. This is a concept by Elon Musk that he wants to actually colonize Mars. Um, the concept itself, we're not really clear if it's the launch vehicle or the way the infrastructure that will be used to take humans to Mars. And we will think, we'll be finding out about this later down in the year with details from Elon Musk. And thank you. This is the end of our presentation. Thank you for your time.